Kenya, a nation with a population of 50 million people, has an estimated 8 million widows living among them. Kenya also has the fourth largest number of victims in the world suffering from the HIV AIDS epidemic. 1.6 million people, majority in Western Kenya, live with the virus mainly spread through sexual transmission. Widow cleansing is a cultural practice in Western Kenya that views women as mere possession that needs to be cleansed and inherited. The practice requires widows to engage in sexual intercourse without a condom with a cleanser, often a relative of the deceased husband, to remove the impurity she is believed to have acquired from the death of her husband. From the moment a woman becomes a widow, her life and that of her children is perceived as unclean, cursed, and even evil. An uncleansed widow is considered a disgrace to herself and her family. They believe that if the widow is buried uncleansed, she will leave behind an irreversible curse of death in the family. Tragically, the high prevalence of sexual cleansing occurs in spite of the rapidly growing cases of new HIV AIDS infections. Often, widows choose to observe the traditions, to conform to societal norms or because they are compelled to do so by their husband's families as well as their own. The sold belief is that engaging in the tradition will ensure that they and their children will not be shunned, suffer illness, or any other grave misfortune. If a widow chooses to say no to widow cleansing, the widow and her children are deprived of any inheritance, becoming destitute and homeless. Most women in this region are not well educated. They lack the means to provide for themselves and their children as they solely depend on their husband being the breadwinner. Due to the cultural stigma and ignorance, they are orchestrized by the community. They have no access to resources or assistance and are inevitably edged out to struggle with life far away from where they have known as home. I began my activism against this vice in order to provide a safe heaven for these young women, with the aim of destigmatizing and educating the community on the ills of this negative practice. Several daughters of Western Kenya have been freed from the chains of this practice, potentially saving their lives. A rural communal organization geared towards helping these women regain their right to have a different future. And thus came to life my Beauty with a Purpose project, Hapana, the right to say no. Hapana, which means no in Swahili, is a project focused on the health, education and empowerment of women and their children. My heart was broken when I saw for myself the large number of children denied an education as collateral damage to their mothers standing up for themselves. I was moved to tears when I learned that for the love of their children and a hope for a better future for them, many women gave in to the practice at the risk of their own death. Having been privileged to live in an urban and modern world, I know the importance of a woman being financially independent, both for her sake and that of her children. Through the SOA Foundation, I have been keen on promoting financial literacy among the widows. Through a table banking system called Chama, the women are able to save the little funds they have as well as borrow money to sustain their families and start small enterprises. Additionally, through meetings with village heads and people in authority, open conversations and slow change has transpired, giving promise of a progressive tomorrow. However, this 
is still not enough. Millions of women need liberation from this cycle of poverty, HIV AIDS and hopelessness. They too need to know of Hapana. They are right to say no. I beseech you to join hands with me to fight against this vice, give the widows an equal choice and save their lives. Next, I set up programs to help educate these women in life skills that could help them. For this purpose, I joined hands with other partners. Together, we are helping these women learn how to drive, teaching them hair care and other saloon-related services so that these women can be self-sufficient and benefit from their own skills. Join hands with me to touch yet another life.